morning campers. <clears throat> we did that thing again where I sleep and then it snows. <laughs> again. 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 Uh, I almost got the truck washed last night. Really glad I didn't. Because <laughs> if we had, that would have caused some problems right now. I mean, not problems. It just would have been like, oh, that was a waste of 60 bucks. Or is it 50? I don't know. It's like 100 to get the truck and the trailer and a washout. So it's probably less than that for just the tractor. And I don't have to pay for the trailer, so. In 1,000 feet, turn left toward North 9th Street, North Old Highway 81. We got fuel here last night as well because it's nice, cheap fuel. This route avoids a road closure on West Co Road okay, 70. That's fine. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> It's got to tell me about 50 things that I don't have to worry about till later. My shortcut uh, from I-25 to uh, US-287 is currently closed for reasons. Not that we would take it in this kind of weather anyway. We're also just not going to go that way at all. As I found out today that there's a way around Denver that's fewer miles. No tolls. So we're doing that. going to do that. We've got a bunch of snow on our roof. A couple inches. And hopefully most of that will blow off as we enter Interstate 70. Do, 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 do. Stop. Go. A surprisingly good traction right now. So someone was asking me in one of the previous videos to talk a little more about how I handle winter driving. And it's really pretty simple. Uh, the big thing with winter driving is that there's nothing stopping you from going way too fast. The problem with ice and snow and sleet and freezing rain is stopping. Stopping is the hard part, and stopping is why you've got to have the self-control to not go fast in conditions where you're not going to be able to stop in the amount of distance that you can see ahead of you. And you've also got to remember that physics play a very important role as well. If the road is super slick and you go around a corner and you jerk that wheel to make your turn, you're going to be in trouble because your wheels are going to turn and your truck is not because your truck has a bunch of momentum in one direction and there's less friction against your wheels to guide the truck because that's that's what that's what keeps that's what make your makes your truck turn is the fact that there is resistance between your tires and the road when that resistance is gone you can turn that wheel all you want and your truck's not going to go anywhere <laughs> and speed makes that worse and worse and worse for you on a slick road. So the key for driving in this kind of weather is to slow down. Just slow down. If you have to slow down enough to where you don't, to where you're getting in people's way, then park it. It's that simple. Of course, uh, in the great state of Kansas, they know how to plow, it would appear. So we're going to have a nice clear right lane, clearish, clearer for us to use, and all the speed freaks will be using the left lane that's covered in ice and snow. That's cool. That's good. That's good. We're going to get up to, uh, we've got a decent view ahead, and this lane is pretty dry. So I think we can probably do 55 to 58 here until the visibility drops, which it appears that it gets doing. Road snow. No packed and icy. Excellent! Excellent. That's just what I like to hear. Well, our plan is to jump on Kansas Highway 27 in Goodland and maneuver up to um, maneuver up to US 34 in eastern Colorado. Apparently, like, there's this little tiny bit of Colorado that sticks out over Kansas. It's kind of like in the corner where there's like a zigzag between Nevada, or not Nevada, Nebraska, Kansas, and, um, thank goodness.
goodness you got in front of me to take that exit. Uh, Nebraska, Kansas, and Colorado. I thought they met at a, like a proper corner, but apparently it's more of a zigzag. So there's a little bit of Colorado that sticks over Kansas. And underneath the, uh, underneath the Nebraska Panhandle. So we're going to pop up into that and grab US 34 and take US 34 west to Greeley, Colorado, where we often pick up meats of various kinds from the Montford Swift. And we'll take US 85 north from Greeley to Cheyenne. And that will be like 20 miles fewer than, uh, than staying on I-70. And we won't have to pay the toll road to go around Denver. So this should be pretty nice. Uh, we'll stop before we get to Goodland and check the uh, road conditions on 27 because it is a state highway. So I, I don't have any expectation that it will have been treated or plowed if they got this winter weather like we did. Also, sorry for the uh, sorry for the whooshing noise the defroster has been on because we had some ice on the windshield this morning. And I forgot to turn the defroster off before I recorded, so I'm sure the audio quality on this video is excellent until right now. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the basics for driving in ice and snow, is you want to keep your movements very smooth, don't jerk the wheel at all, because you're braking, once you break that friction between your tire and the ground, you're sliding, and you don't want to do that. So you've got to minimize that, and that's keep your speed down, because that keeps your momentum down, and make very gentle movements with the truck. Very, very gentle movements. And that's the key. That's that's the real key to winter driving, right there. Slow down, move gently, do not slide. In my experience, anyway. I'm, I, most of my solutions to problems like that are slow down. So, I mean, it really shouldn't be a surprise that that's my, my solution to winter weather as well. If the road's completely snow-packed with, like, multiple inches of snow and no plows have been through, and you're, you're asking me how to drive on that, my answer is don't. <laughs> my answer is don't. The, the answer... If the road is so bad that you need chains to get across it, you probably shouldn't be on it. In most places... It's easier to just wait for them to treat the road and safer to wait for them to treat the road than to try and chain up and go over a pass. Like there's a couple of situations where, you know, like Donner Pass, that'll be closed for days at a time unless you use chains. In that case, you know, throw chains, go over it. You know, Donner Pass is so prolific with chains, you can literally pay somebody else to throw the chains for you. And they're very good at it because they do it a lot. <laughs> they're very fast here. Um, but like, I don't know, like a Three Mile Hill in Oregon, I'll never chain up for Three Mile Hill because Three Mile Hill, they'll have that cleared in a few hours if they put chain law up. Just pull into the way station or Ontario, depending on which side you're coming from, wait it out in the nice, like, warmness of your truck, uh, or, um, if not your truck, your Pilot Flying J or a Sinclair truck stop. Oh, they really have done an excellent job of clearing this road already. Um, just, you know, sit, sit and chill. There's there's no cargo in your truck that cannot get there a little bit late because of snow. Your customer would rather your cargo arrive in one piece than and, and a little bit late than end up in a ditch. Like, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. It's like, yeah, sure, you're not going to be making money sitting there waiting for the pass to open. But it's winter. Deal with it. <laughs> like, yeah, we're not making as much money this time of year because it's winter and you're dealing with weather. But, you know, it's you should still be above water, no problem, from week to week. Oh, no, there's snow. <laughs> Papa's just freaked out realizing there was snow. Uh, it's fine. Um, yeah, so that, that's my opinion, is don't be afraid to shut it down. And if you're not shutting it down, just drive slow. Drive slow, gentle movements. Don't don't outdrive the road conditions. Don't, especially do not outdrive the distance you can see. Because like, you know, right
right now we've got about a mile up ahead we can see 